Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tsekho Siakwe. If it is your first time here, welcome for the first time. <laughs> On my channel, we do some vlogs, we do makeup, fashion, and lots of skincare. And that's what we're actually going to be talking about today. As you've seen from the title, I am going to be reviewing three products that I tried for the first time. Two of the products, I have never even used the brand before, um, so I was very excited to get into them. I thought it would be great to kind of just do it very casual, sit down, chit chat, let you know my thoughts. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first product we're going to be talking about is the Clinique Oil Cleanser. It's their Take the Day Off Cleanser. So I got this because I'm a huge fan of double cleansing. Um, as you guys know or should know by now, I don't use makeup wipes at all. I'm a firm believer that you should be double cleansing your makeup off. So what double cleansing is, it is essentially using an oil-based cleanser first before you go in with your normal cleanser so what you would do is that you would take the oil cleanser warm it up in between your hands rub it all over your face to melt your makeup rinse it off and then go in with your second cleanser let me tell you guys i was so so pleasantly surprised by this product i have never used any clinique products before so this was my first introduction to them and my gosh was I left speechless in the best way uh, possible. This oil cleanser is so soft it warms up really quickly in your hands and it's not heavy I find that some oil cleansers that I have tried before are not as light and runny as they should be so you end up actually tugging on your skin while trying to massage the makeup off so this one does not do that at all it is soft it is light it rinses off so easily and doesn't leave any residue which I find very incredible and surprising for a mid-range brand um, not to say that mid-range brands aren't amazing and don't produce amazing products but yeah I was just I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised I would repurchase this in a heartbeat this is my first time buying it as you can see it's still full um, I tried it for two weeks before I reviewed it here on my channel just because I think that's the only way I can give you guys a fair review on product so yeah this is the first product that I absolutely love and actually I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there all of the three products that I'm gonna show you guys today I loved I have nothing bad to say I am so happy and this was probably the best money spent in a really long time on skincare just because I do buy a lot of skincare so I can show you guys reviews and let you know my thoughts so that by the time you guys go buy stuff you're not wasting your money um, and uh, yeah so Number one was a huge, huge hit and I would definitely recommend it to anybody. Whether you have oily or dry skin, you should be double cleansing and throw away those makeup wipes. So let's go into the second product. Second product I'm going to be showing you guys today is this quarterly um, moisturizing toner. So I haven't used a moisturizing toner in a really long time just because my skin was doing really great for about a year and um, recently I'd say in the last three months, it has kind of just been going up and down. It'll be really dry at some stage, it'll be really oily, or I'll have a very oily T-zone and dry cheeks. So I decided to kind of put aside all my other toners and find something that is hydrating, because I know that if my skin is doing that, it means it's lacking some kind of hydration, whether it be externally or internally. So what I do is I up my water game, I try and eat a lot of vegetables and fruits that are gonna put back into my skin, a lot of berries that are high in antioxidants which is great for your skin i eat and <laughs> take in a lot of vitamin c and use a lot of vitamin c products but with that 
Incorporating a moisturizing toner is one way to help your skin regain its moisture and preserve its hydration and moisture. And this quarterly one was amazing. last product on my list is this Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. So when I went and got this, um, I spoke to uh, the counter lady at Clinique and I told her that my skin was a little dry and I wanted something that was just going to boost the hydration in my skin and help with moisturizing and keeping it hydrated. And so she recommended this moisturizer and the claims are that it's a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator, meaning that after you've put it on, it'll continue working for 72 hours. That's a very big claim. Do I think it does that? Not necessarily. I mean, I will say once I've used it, my skin definitely quenches it up and just soaks it up. My skin feels great after I use it, but when I wake up the next morning, I definitely do feel like I need to moisturize again. I don't feel like I've used this amazing moisturizer that's gonna allow me not to moisturize my skin for 72 hours. So I don't necessarily agree, um, agree <laughs> not agree, I don't necessarily agree with the claim that this will keep your skin moisturized and hydrated for 72 hours. It didn't do that for me, but doesn't mean it's a bad moisturizer, not at all. I actually really did like this moisturizer. Um, so so, like I said, I disagree with the claim that it'll keep your skin hydrated and moisturized for 72 hours. It didn't necessarily do that for me and maybe it could be that my skin is just a little more dry and needs a lot more hydration. But to be honest, I don't think there is any cream in the world that you just apply and if you cleanse your skin the next day, you don't need to clean, um, moisturize for 72 hours or even if you don't cleanse that you wouldn't need to moisturize for 72 hours. I think you should be moisturizing your skin every single day. The things I did love about this moisturizer is that it's very light and I think that is very important especially as a cream that doubles up as a night cream or a day cream which is this cream. You can use it day or night. I think it should be light. Um, as a night cream I would say layer it with an oil. Um, there's one that I love that I use by Kiehl's, their night repair oil. Um, I use this and then I go over it with that oil. For daytime, it's perfect on its own. Put it on, put on some eye cream, put on some sunscreen, and that's all you need. Will I be repurchasing this, repurchasing this anytime soon? Um, not necessarily, just because I think there are other moisturizers out there that I want to try and that I think would be a little better. This cream was a little over 500 I don't have the price on it but I know that it was a little over 500 Rand so that's not necessarily cheap it's not too expensive either for a nicely sized moisturizer that will easily last you three months um, but yeah so that was the Clinique moisturizer I do love it for now am I gonna be quick to repurchase it not necessarily so my final thoughts on all three products the Oil cleanser, definitely will be repurchasing that as soon as this one runs out. I absolutely love it. I think it's about to be a holy grail in my skincare routine. The Cordially toner will definitely repurchase as well. Um, is it going to be an immediate repurchase? No, just because I do want to try another hydrating toner from a different brand, but I know that I will be repurchasing this. It might not be the next toner I buy just so that I can try something else but it's definitely gonna be something that comes back into my skincare routine because I have absolutely loved it. And then finally, the Moisture Surge 72 Hour Cream from Clinique. Will I be repurchasing that anytime soon? No, um, not because it's not a great moisturizer, just because I think there are other moisturizers that could be better for me. I will say, I find that I do struggle a lot with finding a really great um, 
daytime moisturizer. So far, this is the best one. Even better than my Shiseido one. I, I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but so far, I think this is the better one between the two. I love my Shiseido. And I think, yeah, ultimately, they are actually very similar in the sense that I love them. Will I be running back to the store to repurchase them? Probably not right now. I do want to try something else, but they definitely will find their way back into my skincare routine. So this is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to sit down and kind of have a quick little chit chat video about my three favorite products that I've incorporated into my skincare recently. And just give you guys my thoughts in case you want to go buy it or if you've tried it, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know what other products you'd probably like me to try that you're too scared to invest in just yet. And um, I will be happy to try them on your behalf and give you guys my thoughts. But as usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post again. Love and light always. Goodbye.